Hi there, today I'm going to quickly show you how to make symmetrical shapes like this shield here. Um, the process is really easy and quite quick to do, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so first off I'm just going to place in the image that I'm going to trace here. So I'm just going to go File, Place and choose the image. And it's just going to paste in like so. And um, I'm also going to lock this layer which the uh, image is on. So I'm just going to come down to my Layers palette. You can find this under the... Uh, window drop down layers or press F7 and I'm just going to drop this little arrow next to our layer here and we should find our link to file and I'm just going to put a padlock in this square here and that way we won't be able to accidentally move our shape while we're tracing it. Next off I'm going to bring up the rulers by pressing Control R on the keyboard and I'm just going to drag a guide from the side here and I'm just going to roughly place it into the center of our shape here like so. Alright so now I'm just going to come down to my um, color swatches on the bottom here and I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any fill on. I just want a black stroke for now. And now I'm just going to come up and grab my pen tool and we're going to start tracing out half of the shape. So um, to do this we're going to want our smart guides on so you can press Control U to turn your smart guides on and that will make your um, pen tool snap to your guide here. And we're just going to click one path at the bottom and we're just going to come up to the center at the top and put one there. It's important that you have a perfectly straight line on the edge so when you flip it around you don't have anything overlapping or missing out from the um, shape. So now we're just going to go through and just trace out the outline of the shape and uh, yeah, from there we'll flip it around. Alright, so once you're happy with the um, traced shape there, what we can do is we can just turn off the visibility of our um, linked file there on the background, so we just get rid of that, because we don't need that anymore. And what we'll do is we'll select the shape here and we'll switch the um, stroke around with the fill by pressing Shift X. And we'll just copy the shape here. Um, you can fix it up before the stage if you're not happy with it. But um, it's best to do all your adjustments now so everything remains symmetrical. So what we're going to do now is just copy the shape, flip it around and join them together. So we're going to do this by pressing Ctrl C and then Ctrl F and then we're going to come up to our transform dialog box here. You can find this again under window transform or shift F8. And we're just going to come down, come over to this little drop down menu here and we're just going to go flip horizontal. And it's going to flip our shape over. Alright, now making sure that we have our smart guides on, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this top corner here with our um, pointer tool and just making sure that the anchor point comes up. We're going to click and grab it by there and then we're just going to drag it over and drop it onto the other anchor like so. And that should drop it directly in place. As long as you have smart guides on that should all line up and snap into place quite easily. Now to join these together I'm just going to turn off my guide by pressing Control semicolon and we're just going to select both those shapes there and come up to our Pathfinder dialog box here again under Window Pathfinder if you if you haven't got it up or Shift Control F9 and I'm just going to hit the merge option just in the bottom here and I'll merge our shapes together perfectly like so. And there we have it, our symmetrical shape. Now to make the uh, inside border what we can do is use multiple strokes to build that up. So to do this, we all we have to do is again just shift the um, stroke and fill around. So just go shift X to flip them around. And I'm just going to give that a stroke of probably about 10, like so. And then I'm going to come down to my parents dialog box here. And I'm just going to add a new stroke. And I'm going to make that stroke white and I'm going to reduce the size of it down to about four like so and there you go we have a little inside shape like that and that's all done um, if you found this tutorial helpful feel free to hit the like button that always helps and um, subscribe also I do plan on making a, uh, a lot more of these so yeah have a nice day